Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the friend functions in C++. And if you know that, you know, in a class, the private and the protected members of that class are only accessible to the member functions of that class. So they are not accessible to the outside functions. In C++, if you have to access the members of a class outside that class, not in the member functions, outside any other functions, then uh, what you can do is you can make some functions as friends to that class so that all the properties or the members of that class are available in that functions. So if it is confusing, don't worry, you know, in this example, it's going to be clear. So just for the demonstration purpose in this tutorial, we're going to define a class, class human. Okay, but before that, we're going to include the string header file. So it's going to be hash include and a string. All right. Now in this class human, what uh, we're going to do is uh, we're going to define two properties as private. So let's say string name and uh, int age all right now you know we are not specifying the access specifier as private you know by default if we don't specify anything you know the access specifier is going to be private okay now next we're gonna define the public access specifier and here let's have a function let's call it as void tell me and uh, this function is going to display the values of this name and age so it's going to be see out name and line age all right now all of us know that you know this private properties of this class are available to this method tell me that's because this tell me is a member of this class what if we want to access this properties or these members in a function which is not a member of this class at that time what we can do is in c++ we can make that function as a friend to this class so here let's say we want a function called uh, display to have access to all the properties of the members of this class at that time we can make that function display as a friend to it to declare a function as a friend to a class we need to use the keyword friend and then the return type of that function is going to be void in this case and then the function name let's call it as display and as a parameter it should take an object of this class human that's why it's going to be human let's call it as man all right now this display function you know which is not a member function of this class can access all the properties of the members of this class human so here we are just declaring this function display you know just the prototype of this function display and when we declare it using this friend keyword the c++ will come to know that okay this function is a friend to this class and that's why it can access all the members of this class in other words if we talk about this example you know a friend of a man can access his private information here you know we share our information with our friends so this display is a friend of us and that's why it can access all the information about us all right now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to define this function display so it's going to be void display and as a parameter it's going to take an object of this human class and uh, here I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here in this display you know the same thing and we need to change this one to man dot name and man dot age all right now we have a friend function okay here we need a function to initialize these two variables what we're gonna do is we're gonna define a constructor so it's gonna be same as the class name human and uh, it should take two parameters you know a string i name and uh, int i age input age and we're gonna store that in our name and age so it's gonna be name equal to i name and age equal to i age all right now we're gonna create an object of this class human in my main function so it's gonna be human and let's call it as anil and we need to pass two parameters since we have only one user defined constructor and it's gonna be anil and then the age let's say 24 
and now I'm going to use this display function to display the values of this object anil so it's going to be display and I'm going to pass anil all right now I'm going to save this I'm going to build and run this hopefully we don't have any error okay we have an error that's because you know i made this string as capital i don't know how many times i made this mistake but you know all right i'm gonna build and run this again and now it says anil n24 so this anil n24 is from a function which is not a member of this class it's just a friend function all right now just for the demonstration purpose i'm gonna remove this friend and uh, I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this and you guys can see we got the error and uh, if I open up the logs it says you know age is private so you, we can't access that age outside this class all right now I'm gonna add a friend again okay now the next thing is we can have a function or a class as a friend to a class here you know we have a function display as a friend to this class human and we can have another class as a friend to this class human so if we have a class as a friend to this class human at that time what happens is you know the members of that class which is a friend are going to automatically become the friend functions of this class or you know all that member functions of that class can access the members of this class human so if it is confusing don't worry you know it's just having another class as a friend to this class okay here if you want to declare a class as a friend to a class then at that time you guys need to use friend then the keyword class and then the class name here instead of this function name you should have the class name so this class name is a name of the class you know which is a friend to this class all right a friend function is nothing but a simple function you know which can access all the members of a class to which it is friend and we can have a function or a class as a friend to a class and to declare a function as a friend to a class we can use the keyword friend and if you want to make an entire class as a friend to another class at that time you guys can specify that using friend keyword followed by class followed by the class name so this is it guys this is about the friend functions in c thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like my facebook page and stay updated with my latest videos and i'll see you in the next tutorial